The day that changed my life, saved my life, but nearly killed me in the process. Confusing words all to be spoken in one sentence. A life-changing moment that happened way later on in my career. And as you've seen so far in this series, you know a lot about the end of my career, but still have a lot to learn on how we got here. training alongside my brother we've both just signed here with our hometown club we're playing in Anderlecht but at the end of the last episode the manager had told us that he doesn't envision both of us starting for the entirety of the season so I want to be the one brother who remains in this first team so I'm having to do a little bit of extra work on the side to stay in shape and make sure I'm at the top of my game you know I love playing with my brother but I'm very competitive and I always want to be better than him even though a lot of the critics may say that he's better than me we got a lot of work left to do if we want to be that one and we got to keep performing in these matches and speaking of we got another one coming up to the fifa 21 my player career mode make sure as you guys are watching smash a like we gotta go for 10k likes every episode if you guys want to continue seeing this series it runs the same way that we did in the past if you like the video we hit 10k likes we get the views we get the comments boys we're gonna be keeping this series up this one should have been a goal offside not the best timed run but the finish was there and i'm hoping the manager at least saw that i mean Great ball in, but yeah, look at that, man. Inches, inches. Oh my God, so freaking close. Oh yes, boys, the My Player has returned. So if you are excited for this series to be back in full force, leave a like, and we are down. 1-0, it has been a interesting start to the season so far. A win to start the gear in the last episode. But this episode is gonna be starting off with this a goal for our opposition and like i've mentioned this series is back to the same format that we did for the rafael ruiz series three games in up to four storylines potentially more in every single episode decisions for you to make in this series everything will be decided by you this one will not be decided by you a goal for the other team that's decided by me in my poor gameplay well you know what actually no not my poor gameplay what am i saying i'm just controlling my own player i'm controlling our player man jordan jarvis i ain't controlling anyone else this is our defense bro i'm not trying to take the blame for this one right here two nil would quickly almost nearly turn into three nil but luckily finally a save from our goalkeeper you know i'm starting to realize this belgian league might be a little bit more difficult than i would have imagined oh my god oh my god what the heck was that where did this come from man the flick up the volley I thought for sure when it left my boot, it was in. Oh my God, why'd the keeper have to say that? Uh, save that. I, that would have been the best goal of my career only two episodes in. Like, had that gone in, I don't think I ever would have topped that. Even if we did 100 more of these episodes, that would have been it. That would have been the best goal. And of course, it saved. And as you're seeing, man, we had a good start to the series last episode in our first game. But we got a lot of work left to do, man. Professional football is no joke, especially playing for a club like this. But when you get passes like this... 
It's quite easy. There it is, boys. 2-1. We cut the lead in half. In 66 minutes into this game, we get the second goal of our career. Jordan Jarvis. Man, I love those celebrations with my brother as well. If you may have missed the first episode, this is not just about our player. We got the Belgian brothers. The story of two brothers trying to make it out here in the football world. Both being signed by the same team. And you have seen the first few storylines. We are... Bringing the drama back, of course, we have to. There is going to be some big, big twists, some unexpected ones. So you guys are going to need to stay tuned. Okay, right. Um, Yeah, we already concede yet another one right here. And just as I score, that goal gets cut right back. 3-1. Man, our keeper's struggling a bit. Our defense just letting too many players in behind. 89th minute, bros. You know what? We may as well just give them one more, right? I mean, we've already lost this game. Let's just lose it by another goal. 4-1. This start to the episode is not ideal. Anderlecht. One of the better clubs in Belgium. We're slowly but surely realizing, and I think I am as well, that, you know, wins just aren't coming easy here. This is professional football, and we're going to have a ton of work to do, a ton of things to learn as a new professional footballer. And it's time, coming up soon, where I'm sure the manager is thinking, is it going to be myself, Joel or Jordan? Which player is getting removed from the starting 11 or potentially worse? You guys had your first vote in the last episode. Were we going to stay at home and live with the family? Or should I move out on my own? And you guys kind of all banded together and were like, yo, you may as well save some money. Live at home. You got your mom and your brother as well. Keep bonding with him, man. It's kind of crazy. We're, we're playing for like one of the biggest clubs in Belgium. And we're freaking still living at home with our mom. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, I'm making money. Like, we're both making decent money. We could very well, you know, go get herself maybe a small house or a nice apartment or something. But you guys said stay at home. And you know what? I think I actually agree with you guys. This is going to be a good experience because also with the players like us, you never really know what could happen. If we went out and bought a house, who knows, maybe in a few months or, you know, a year or so, we get loaned out or transfer listed. So it may not make sense to only, you know, go somewhere for a few months. Let's just stay here, see what the future holds, and then we can figure things out from there. More votes to come in future episodes. And uh, hello, team of the week after losing 4-1. What in the hell is going on? Okay. I mean, I'm going to take it. You saw we got some accomplishments there. And it's going to be bumping our rating up to 69 overall. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. 69 overall for you, boy. Only two episodes into the series. And this is a massive matchup, boys. Club Rouge against Anderlecht. This is the one that I have been waiting for. One of the best teams in the league, boys. A matchup unlike any other that I will have ever faced in my career. Because it's only the third game you guys are ever seeing of my career as always with the my player one thing i'm going to be continuing doing this year like we've done in the past is simulating and playing a lot of games off camera so i believe we're already into the month of october right here in the first season and i'm nearly scoring a goal but we are going to be continuing to speed through so that we can do multiple seasons I'm trying to do like four episodes per season. So basically every two weeks, you guys will get a brand new season because we're going to keep posting these every Tuesday and Friday. Assuming you guys keep getting the likes. So make sure you guys continue to smash the like button as Club Bruges is going to go up 1-0. They take the lead on a beautiful header there from the corner. Fair play, good goal, nothing I can do physically or defense. I don't know what it is, man. We need something. Something needs to change. I feel like I'm taking a lot of the blame. People are saying that we're not scoring enough goals, but our defense just keeps conceding too much. Look at that, man. We got so many defenders in the box. But there's literally nothing like we can do at all, man. And it's 2-0. 45 minutes in. It's so unlucky. That goal right there coming again off of mistakes from the back. I, I physically don't know. I physically don't know as a young player how I can help this cause right here. As an attacker, my brother, to be honest, is more to blame. He's in the midfield. Maybe he could get back a little bit and help, but no. Look at that. In behind. Fender tries to get a piece and can't. 
and we're already in the 88th minute and slowly but surely we go from the first episode with a phenomenal start in a big win to this second episode where it seems like everything is going downhill and everything is falling apart a three nil loss to club rouge just like that we're 0 and 2 in this episode and we're slowly but surely falling down in the league table i literally did nothing that game man i mean one of the worst performances i think so far of my career in the team's career overall three now we have a bit of good news though the rating continues to go up we're in the 70s but yo if i'm not scoring goals man my time at this club could very well be cut short And I've been on a cold streak. We move to December in the calendar. Two matches left before this January transfer window where we've kind of both been in and out of the starting 11s every single week. When I say we, I mean myself and my brother Joel. And with the transfer window opening up, we were starting to get a little bit nervous and our fears and our nerves were realized when we were visited by one of the assistant managers who told us that at the boss, Vincent Company, our main manager, was unsure of what he was going to be doing in this upcoming window. A lot of players, like ourselves, very young, very inexperienced, potentially needing to be loaned out or potentially having no future at this club. We were both very liked players. Yes, my brother might be a little bit higher rated than myself. I might be doing a little better this season, though. So which one of us, if any, could potentially get transfer listed or loan listed? I'd hope neither. My goal in joining Anderlecht was that we'd both be able to play with each other for at least a season or two. And now, at home, both realizing that our days together could be cut short. And we both didn't know what to think. Could it be for the best? Both of us splitting up. Starting our own journeys at different clubs. I think we both agreed that we still wanted to play with each other in some way, some shape, or some form. And the manager had told us that one of us would be visited the next few days and he would let us know which one of us would be getting listed, getting transfer listed, loan listed, something, one of the above, both of the above. Anything could potentially happen. But all we knew was that we needed to cherish these days because these could potentially be some of our final days playing football together into the next match we go boys where we need to continue to make these impressions because if we don't if we continue to slip up especially in these final two games of the season man i mean if i do i'm definitely gone if my bro does he's definitely gone the jarvis bros back in the starting 11 yet again so let's see if we can succeed in this one if we can both you know maybe grab some goals and an assist in this one I could see us maybe even staying. It is still a possibility, so we need to go full force into the match. Trying to stay patient, trying to stay calm, waiting for my chance to strike. This club we're playing, Gent, is no joke. A very solid team in the league, and very much so. Yet another game where we fall behind conceding the first goal of the match. And I'm sat at the top of the box yet again, thinking our defense needs to give myself and my bro a chance to do something because they're giving us nothing to work with right here man 2-0 yet again we just keep conceding at will yet another goal on their left behind and the chances of us winning are plummeting dramatically a phenomenal goal right here all credit to the attacker in this one i mean going far post but still just unmarked here down the wing like we need someone out wide we need bodies on every single attacker and that will lead us into the halftime break it's not a great start and it's not looking good for our chances of remaining at this club at this point i'm just wondering who the manager would keep myself or my bro but a chance to shine here a chance to get one and we do 2-1 cutting the lead back we get our second goal of the episode and I'm cherishing this one because I know it could be the last that I'm playing out on the pitch with my bro. The last time I get to celebrate him. It's a great goal. Great ball played in through. And it's just a nice 
driven shot into that bottom left hand corner you love to see it we will take it and it's time to try and win this one could you imagine if my brother and myself could lead the comeback and it could happen company looks excited on the bench and a chance to do it into my bro he misses the ball and that might just seal one of our fates i'm going for another but this one is out of reach on my left foot it never had the power my brother missed the shot he missed it how has he gone on and done that i'll never know in a situation as big as that one a 2-1 loss, and that could do it. Some bumps and bruises after that game, getting looked at by one of the team doctors. Nothing serious, just the normal check-in. I was visited by the assistant manager. He told us that he'd be talking to either myself or my brother about listing us. Loan list, transfer list, one of the above, both of the above, and I knew this could be it. You'll have to wait and see what he says in the next episode. But if it was up to you, what would you do? If he tells us that we need to be loaned or transfer listed, do we do it? And if he tells us that our brother is loaned or transfer listed, do we leave with him? This is a decision vote. I want you to comment decision vote in your answer down below. And I'll be reading through and looking through the top liked and commented ones. The decision is yours, boys. This is going to be an interesting one. 10K likes, you get the next episode Friday. See you then.